in this video I'm going to show you how to make this sister hook catch. So you open up the catch like so, feed the jump ring into the catch, close it and then just slot the jump ring into the other side like so and it's probably the safest catch that you could make and very easy to make as well. Really good for gents bracelets. Check it out. For this project I'm using a piece of 1.2 mil thick uh, 9 carat yellow gold and the width of this is 7 mil. So you might want to change that depending on the width of the chain that you're going to make it for. So uh, this chain here is 6.4 mil wide. So I want to match up to the same width. So I've got a little bit of file up room uh, to get it exactly the same as the chain. And the length of this at the moment is 35 mil long. So I'm going to make the catch 14 mil. The body of the catch is going to be around about 14 mil. So that size there, I think that would be suitable for that chain. Uh, so what you need to do is uh, double that. So what we're going to do is fold it over and we need a piece in the middle where you're going to bend it as well. So around about five or six mil for that. So uh, this is, as I said, 35 mil. So I'll just mark off 14 mil uh, from both ends. And I'll just draw in the section in the center that's going to be folded over. Again, coming up to the corner, keep the blade moving so you're not getting any forward pressure. You're just keeping it moving and turning it at the same time. And you should be able to get a nice sharp turn. I'll just position the ply slightly away from the center so that I can just push it around and get the bend started in the center. And then I can move my pliers right to the middle there. And just use my. So that's ready for filing up now. Perfectly, so I can just file it down now to the same width as the bracelet. If you're making the tube, uh, there's a chance that the seam may open up later on. The catch will still work, so don't worry about that. And also you'll find in the curriculum, there's a lesson on how to make tube, just in case you can't buy the right size. And the other thing to bear in mind is that the tube must be able to uh, accommodate a jump ring going through later on, so it can't be too small. <laughs> Keep it lubricated. So I'll just run through first of all. Tube to fit in comfortably, so it shouldn't be too stiff. So now I'll finish off with a round needle file, and to make sure that you get the inside of the cutout perfectly round, twist your round needle file and go uh, anti-clockwise. If you try and twist it around going clockwise it'll just jam in there. There we go. So we've got the tube fitting in. It should fit comfortably like that. Not too much movement. So I can draw this in again just by eye. Use a burr or just get in there with your needle files to tidy it up. Now, this catch is going to look a lot more attractive if I file the edges off and just soften it off all the way around. Now, just make sure the end of the tube is squared off. And again at this stage, it's going to be easier to cut your section of tube ready to use later. So I'll just uh, fit that in and 
you want around about half a mil sticking out. What I do is I just get it almost right through and then bend the tube over so you've still got something to hold on to and then I can just make sure that the end that I've cut Now you may think that um, we could just complete the rivet before taking it apart, but if we did that, then we're not going to have the option to clean up the inside. So what I want to do is make sure that the inside of the catch is cleaned up and ready for polishing. So I'll do that. Finish off the rivet. So now I'm going to flare out the other side of the tube and now don't overhit it. What you want to do is keep turning it over and do a couple of little taps each side to make sure that the amount of tube that's flaring is even on both sides. To use my hammer alone. The rivet. Into the catch part uh, side. So just make sure you can rip the piece like that. I'm cutting a little bit further. And now I'm ready to uh, cut the opening out so um, I'll just mark out first of all now we need a gap that's big enough for the jump ring um, and I need to make sure that it matches up on the other side so I'll just close it up and Just be careful as you're cutting through not to cut uh, onto the opposite side there. Now I'm going to make a couple of jump rings to fit it to the bracelet and I've got a four millimeter uh, stake here it's actually a punch and to make quick easy jump rings what I do is I just trap the end of the wire um, onto the stake. Uh, this wire is 1.1 mil in diameter and just wrap the wire around just over two times. side and solder them up. Okay I've cleaned the catch up and it's working really nicely. It opens and closes quite smoothly. I'll just show you how it works. So we just uh, feed the jump ring into the G shape like so. Close it as much as you can. You'll see it just get trapped at that point there. So you just move the jump ring up um, along and it'll uh, feed its way into the other half of the uh, catch and there you have it it's a really safe catch and it's always better to be safe than sorry you will find it a little bit fiddly to open and take the uh, jump ring out again but um, at least you know it's dead safe